can see the elephant. Well, it works the same for the tigers. We ask the tigers to line up. We ask them to come up parallel with the mesh. 
we touch them with a pole or a black tip needle, this is how the training starts, and we give them a really big reward. Well, these guys, we don't give them um, small toys or um, we don't give them action figures or ice cream or anything like that. Instead, they will get things like raw meat or rats or goat milk, which is what they're getting right now. Over a period of time, they decide, well, you know what, it's not so bad getting poked by a needle because I'm getting something really good afterwards. So when it comes time for their sedations, we ask them to line up, we inject them with the sedative, they go to sleep, everything's fine, they wake up, they, we can actually use less drugs, and they go down a lot faster because they're not all worked up and upset. And then when they wake up, they kind of have a headache, and then they usually will get food that evening or the next day. It's worth their while. This works for vaccinations as well. We no longer have to sedate our animals just to vaccinate them because they are trained for injections. We can ask them to come up, we inject them with the vaccination, we give them a really big reward, and everything's good. Now they are also scale trained, which is also important because we need to manage their weight in captivity. These guys um, in the wild would be doing a lot of walking around, roaming, hunting, um, looking for other tigers, like for breeding, maintaining their territory. Well, here in captivity, they don't really have that far to roam. They get their food on a regular basis. So they kind of have a tendency to lean towards the overweight side. There are two of them. But we can actually manage their weight because they step on a scale for us. We ask them to step up on the scale, we get their weight, they all have target weight ranges. We know what area, what range they're supposed to be in. If they're a little heavy, we reduce their diet. If they're a little light, we increase it. These boys both weigh about 280 pounds. And they're actually small tigers, believe it or not. Yep, Siberian tigers can get up to 500 pounds, so these guys are pretty, they're about half that size. And also these boys, if anyone's interested, they eat 12 to 15 pounds of food each six days a week. On the seventh day, um, they get bones. So, what? They get bones, raw bones, uh, cow, usually cow leg bones. Yep. So, are there any questions? I can keep talking, but if anybody has a specific question, just get my attention. I'll be more than happy to answer. Did you say how old they are? They're eight years old. Yep, just a few months past eight. And their birthday is in April, April 20th. How often do they go to the vet? That's a very good question. The vets will usually come do a visual check on them kind of throughout the year, but usually about once a year, once every two years, they're sedated for a full exam, and that's usually when they get um, any vaccinations. They get dentals, we get our hands on them, we'll take x-rays if we need to, that kind of thing. How long are they? Oh gosh, Josh, how long do you think they are? Seven feet? Not seven feet. Are they going to come out? No, this is as close as they're going to come. Otherwise, they'll eat everybody. Their names are Jamu and Pandu. Here's another interesting fact. Everybody sees the stripes on the tiger, right? That's kind of what makes him a tiger. That stripe, that stripe pattern is also what makes that particular tiger pandu. The stripe pattern is like a human fingerprint. It's individualistic for each tiger. It's also a skin print. So if he were to go bald one day, he would still have his stripes. He would still be, um, have that pattern which identifies him as pandu. Another question? How do they what? How do we catch them? They were actually born in a zoo, so they are not a wild born, born animal. How, I heard it. How old can they live? They can live 15 to 20 years in captivity. In the wild, it's usually about half that. They are camouflaged, actually. That stripe and that orange, and you wouldn't believe it, but trust me, that orange background color, the white and the black stripes blended really well with bamboo. So it does work as a camouflage as well. Have they ever eaten any of the fish in that pond? Yes, they have. Well, they haven't actually eaten it. They've caught several of them. But we usually find as much fish as there was originally. They'll make the koi taste very good. Can they roar? Yes, they do. Tigers will usually roar when they're angry. So if they're mad about something, they'll usually start 
fighting in their war then? Well, lions, as an opposite, lions war to communicate. So they're not always worried when they're angry. These guys, if they're angry, they will definitely war. How long can their whiskers grow? Hmm, you know what? I'm not really sure. I'm going to guess probably, what, six inches, Josh? Two, three inches? Some can get seven to eight. Yeah. I'll put him up high so he can see you. Half. 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 Half.